guys! So most of you may know I like music. Relatable. But recently, something broke my heart. So here is the unreleased story, just for you guys, of the time these four British guys made me cry a lot. <laughs> so it all started in the morning, 19 days before the show. And when there's a concert coming, like 20 or 30 days before it, I get really excited, like I think what's gonna happen. You don't believe me? Here's a timetable of this concert. <laughs> that morning I woke up and I felt a bit weird about this concert. I felt like something wasn't gonna happen. Anyway, I went downstairs, got ready to have an amazing day at school. Like I said before, I felt something wasn't gonna happen. Now I was having the best afternoon tea. I had some black tea, which I love, with some crust skits with peanut butter on it. Man, I was loving life. As I bit into it, waiting for the crumbs to cascade down my chest, my mum read out an email. It is to regret that this show planned on the 26th of September is cancelled due to an unforeseen international and local promotional commitment. What does that mean? Now for me, everything stopped. I burst into tears. I've been looking forward for this day for three years. Anyway, I was in a fully breakdown mode. I was crying, there was tears, I was screaming. I feel sorry for the neighbours. They thought something horrible was happening. After about an hour of crying, I ran upstairs. I had to go to the next best thing which was Instagram. Now, I had not spammed a person, even a band, so much in my life. After about an hour of like, just saying the same thing over and over again. And all these other teenage girls saying that as well. I basically formed an Australian cult out of these teenage girl fans who were upset with me. Now after that, I called everyone in my contacts, seeing if you know, I could have like a mini therapy lesson with them. And guess how many of them answered? None. I called my dad, but he was in China. So that night, I ran into the shower. I was trying to bathe off the tears. I screamed out my chemical romance. I'm good. Anyway, after that night, I was an emotional wreck. I don't think I ate. <laughs> so I woke up the next day thinking, yes, you know, they probably explained what happened. It might have been a prank, you know, it's 2017, people say, oh, it's just a prank, bro. But no, they haven't said anything. And poor little upset India went onto her phone at probably 6.15 in the morning thinking, why haven't they done anything yet? I just spammed them again. Saying, why'd you cancel, as you know, until one of them finally acknowledged it. Now, I was expecting like they'll reschedule it, but no. No! One band member said, I'm sorry, with a heart. Anyway, the moral of the story is, don't have high hopes until the day before. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed this story time or something, make sure to do a big thumbs up. Remember to click subscribe down below and that notification bell. Comment down below if you ever got cancelled by a band or anything and tell me your stories. And I'll see you guys later. Bye guys! They gonna rip up your heads, yeah, aspirations to shreds. Another cock in the murder machine. They said all oh,